Most people view the world through a singular frame. But great thinkers, true intellectuals, are able to analyze the world through multiple layers of consciousness, different levels of thought and analysis. And it's these people that are able to understand and interpret events as they're happening in real time to help them better understand and predict the future. Now, many people who follow this channel, who come across this video will say, people, ni people need to stop thinking with emotions and people need to think logically. But you have to understand the thought process that goes into thinking emotionally in order to understand the world around you. So when you take someone like Alexander Cortez, many people on the right are trolling her, saying that she's illogical, that she hasn't thought things out, that she's not that intelligent, when the truth is just the opposite. She has achieved exactly what she has set out to achieve because she is a master of rhetoric and a master of persuasion. She actually reminds me of someone else we see very often, um, well, someone else we've seen rise to a pretty high level of power in politics. So when Alexandria Cortez comes out and says that the top tax rate or the tax rate for the top earners in the United States of America needs to be raised to 70%. And that we need to make college free for everyone and we need to explore reparations. People that are generally on the right wing of the political spectrum, because these are issues that they're generally against, will think logically and they'll say, well, you know, if you raise the tax rate to 70% from the top earners, they'll just um, move their money overseas. Or if you understand how things really work, it's not about tax rates, it's about tax loopholes. So if you raise the, um, the tax rate to 70% on top earners, what happens? Well, the big multinational corporations, they use tax loopholes, so they don't pay 70%. But mom and pop shops who are trying to compete with a company like Amazon, well, they go out of business because they can't survive um, a 70% tax rate. But all of these logical arguments don't really matter. You can make them until you're blue in the face because Alexandria Cortez is not the idiot that people are accusing her of being. In fact, she's very intelligent. What she's doing is she is demonstrating her mastery in the art of rhetoric and persuasion. And she is moving the Overton window of the conversation further to the left. She has now set the conversation around a tax rate of 70%. And that means even if her side loses the tax rate still goes up to a place where it wouldn't have gone up ordinarily. People now have a higher tax rate as to what is appropriate in their mind. It also does something else. It creates a lot of energy, a lot of emotions in people. And because of that, people are talking about her nonstop people on the left talking about how great she is and people on the right talking about what an idiot she is. But what the people on the right don't realize is through her rhetoric, through her persuasion, all the energy is swelling toward not only her ideas, but toward her. And with every meme, every troll, she grows more powerful. And I'm talking about as people troll her, she grows more powerful. She is a master in rhetoric and persuasion. The same thing happens when she talks about reparations. The right will talk about what an idiot she is and they will meme her and troll her 
and the left will get really fired up and it will in their minds it will become realistic that reparations can take place no matter how ridiculous the actual idea is everything she's saying is designed to move the window left and to create energy around her and her ideas and she is growing stronger every time she puts these ideas out there and the right is fighting her in a very low consciousness way and they're actually making her stronger as they call her an idiot and make memes about her. All of the energy is about Alexandria Cortez. Now you might listen to this and say, Tom, you don't know what you're talking about, you're wrong. What I will tell you is that we are going to build a wall and Mexico is going to pay for it. We are going to lock her up. We are going to drain the swamp. We are going to deport 14 million people. Now, I supported Donald Trump, but I wasn't born yesterday. I told my friend during the election, I, I had a feeling that um, I thought he would get the wall done, which we'll still see. I'm crossing my fingers better not hold my breath, but I thought that we would get the wall done, but I said there's no way he had any intention of deporting 14 million people. This was rhetoric designed to get the energy, the emotion up on his side and move the overturned window to the right. So even if he only got the wall, that would be a win, even though his political opponents might think, hey, you know, he didn't deport people. So we got to win. Well, when he first got into office, one of the first deals he tried to make with the Democrats was um, not deporting anyone, amnesty in exchange for the wall. Trump is the ultimate master of persuasion and rhetoric. And Cortez is channeling the same strategy and energy that Trump did in 2015. And she is growing more powerful by the day. You have to understand that there are levels to language, levels to consciousness, and there is an energy in the world, and that energy can be moved with rhetoric and persuasion. And the better you understand that, the better you'll understand the world around you. Power to the individual. Long live liberty. Please share this link.